welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scarcious. We are in the Master League. You already know we got our Mewtwo on the lead. And we're faced up against a Dragon Man. Let's see what they want to do. But we got that Ice Beam on deck. And you already know this will one shot if they decide to let it go. So let's see what they want to do here. Yeah, they showed that out rightfully so. What's the vibe now? What do they want to do? But they're over farming. Alright, they're throwing there. We're gonna shield this up just to add some more pressure onto them. Gonna wait a turn. In the middle of the animation, throw the next charge move so they can't catch. And now they're gonna have to shield if they don't want to go down here. And they do, so that's two shields down on their end. And we probably go for the full farm down maybe, but we're about to get to the next side strike, and we do. So Mewtwo's job is done. This will still do big damage. Let's go. Let's go. And we can come in Zacian here and see what they want to do. Yeah, their energy would have been wasted, so they swap out. And yeah, into Melmetal. So we swap out into Groudon. And this one's basically a wrap. Don't think we'll even have to make use of our last shield. This one is definitely a wrap. You can already see where this one was heading. But they're sticking around to try and fight the good fight for now, I guess. Big damage. Bye bye, no metal. Back comes a Dragonite. I mean, oh yeah, what do they want to do here? Because even a fire punch will take it out from here. Have they got enough for superpower? Yeah. That takes us out and then. Yeah, just farm down with the Zacia. Zacia's like basically full health. And in the back, they have Metagross. So that's absolutely fine. We still have a shield and we've got two close combats for them. And they know that, so they top left there. GG's though. GG's each and every time. Are you saying they're still trying to rock that Dragonite double steal? Yeah, not around there. Into the next one. Faced up against a whole whole shiny flexing on the lead. Okay, okay. Over farming a bit and we're gonna offload that side strike here and see what they're feeling like. They can live one decently fine. So they let that go. And they throw their charge and then we catch it on our ground. Okay, it's Brave Bird. Still does big damage. The defense has fallen. All right. They're gonna get off another charge move here. Another Brave Bird, that's absolutely fine. Their defense is overly low. When we come back with Mewtwo, I'm sure they're gonna look to dip out. We just wait out the clock, now we come with Mewtwo. Yep, <laughs> they tip out as expected into their Dialga. That's absolutely fine because we're stacked on energy. And an Ice Beam and a Side Strike is gonna put them threateningly low. Or do we feel like going for another Ice Beam now? We're gonna go for the Side Strike. Just in case they got to a charge move there. Okay, they decide to shield, so we swap now into our Zacia. We're not looking to say they get farmed out. All right, they want to throw their energy here. We're going to shield that up. Hopefully we can get off a charge move before they get to the next Iron Head. We're throwing straight away to force that decision. They might want to let it go and then put everything into their ho-ho, maybe. Or whatever wants to rock out in the back. Let's see what the vibe is. Over farming. This should be sacred fire. Or do they want to lower their defense? Yeah, they lower their defense, going for the brave bird. And then his swap out into their Zation. That's absolutely fine. We're still looking Gucci, man. We're in the driver's seat. 
We're holding it down. Switch clock's coming up. Can we get out of there? Not just yet. Let's offload this charge move. Can we do one snow and get out of there? We swap out straight away and luckily they threw their charge move there so we catch it. So that's wasted energy on their part. We're rocking with snow so I doubt we're going to be able to farm this down. We're going to have to throw a charge move. Can we get, oh we do get the farm down. With snow resisted. And they have a shield in place still so we're going to need two charge moves. But they left basically energy dry with their ho-ho, so they come back in needing to farm up a lot, so they're not gonna get there. And that one's gonna be a G to the G. Wrap this one up like a Christmas present. Nicely done. All right. A lot of in and out hopping around in that one there. GG's though. Moving on into the next one. Let's get it. Faced up against a mama swine. Okay, we definitely don't mind this. Let's see what the vibe is. All right, building up. I'm gonna throw that side strike straight away to force them to make a decision early on. They will be doing big damage to mama swine. They showed it. Let's go. Let's go. Forcing them early decisions. And we're going to shield back, rightfully so. You want to shield, I'll shield. And then make some more pressure applied on you. Throwing straight away again. <laughs> Let's see what they want to do. What's the vibes? They double shield. Interesting. <laughs> that one is interesting stuff. Still, what are saying? They want to protect that mama swine. We're letting the avalanche go. Build up. We can get to a side strike. They catch it on Meloetta. No problem. We still have a shield. They have none. And then we're going to swap out into our Groudon. And I don't think Meloetta is going to appreciate a Precipice Blades. As bulky as Meloetta is. Precipice Blaze does not care for your bulk status. So, offloading our energy here. You already know the vibes. Bye bye. Alright, are they coming back in with Mums? Yes. Gonna offload the fire punch straight away chip it down as much as we can before our Groudon goes down because they do have a little bit of energy they're going to have to throw they do and it's going to be down to Zation to sweep things up now so let's get it and they swap out straight away I mean that's not going to help and they realise that so they top left and that's a G to the G nicely done nicely all right, moving on into the next one. All right, faced up against the Landorus, I definitely do not mind this. So let's see what they want to do. They swap out straight away into their Dialga, so we'll swap tight into our ground. Let's get it. We'll get off the precipice blade before their iron head. So we're going to force them to make a decision. Do they want to use a shield here or get one popped? What's it gonna be? A shield, okay. Okay. Absolutely fine. Over farming, they tried to go offload their energy on CMP, but we're not falling for that. Let me shield this iron herd. Right now, we're gonna offload our energy. And do they wanna double up here? <laughs> They do, okay, okay, okay. Really trying to protect that Dialga. Really want to switch, but we get to another here and offload that. We're going for their charge move, but we're gonna shield that up and offload ours. Uh, let's see what the vibe is, car. They got no shields. So I'm expecting them to come back in with their Lando. 
bye bye to the Dialga. Shields down on each side. Yep, and it is the Lando coming back in. He's got a mud shot down. But we're going to get off a fire punch before they complete that. So, any chip is better than none, right? Let's get it. All right, now we can bring in our Mewtwo, and Mewtwo can take a stone edge, so we're not really too concerned. They might want to offload their energy and then get out of there, though. Let's see what the vibe is. Stone edge call. They, they try to catch again. We bank the energy and then swap out into our Zation as they swapped out into their Yveltal, and this is just beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. They really thought they were going to catch a side strike on a Yveltal. That's not the vibe. Over farming on our end and now offloading the play rough. I mean, you already know this one's a wrap. They should know it's a wrap. But they're trying to fight the good fight, which is fair enough. Mewtwo has an ice beam ready for their Landorus, and Mewtwo wins CMP easily over Landorus, so you already know it's due to be a G to the G. All right, we're at to back to back close combat, so we're gonna offload that here, which would take out a Veltal. And if they don't throw energy, we should be able to chip it down with this close combat. Now we overload, putting pressure on them, going for play rough instead, so. You already know what the vibe is. GG's. Nicely done, nicely. Yeah. Let's get it. Moving on into the last one. Faced up against a familiar face here. Let's see what the vibe is. They got Rayquaza on the lead, shiny flexing. All right, we're stacking, we're stacking. I'm gonna throw their charge move first, expecting the breaking swipe. Of course, and then they dip out into their Zacia. We overload and then swap out to our Groudon. Stack man, offloading the precipice blaze here. You know, it does big damage, right? Jesus, all right, building up. I'm gonna offload their energy here. It's the play rough, and now we're just gonna get to that fire punch. Get rid of the Zation and see what the vibe is. The Rayquaza probably comes back in, I'm guessing, to farm down. And yeah, it is. And we're not able to get to the fire punch, unfortunately. Alright. Offloading side strike here. Stacked on energy. Mewtwo stacks on energy is very dangerous. We swap out after they shield. So Mewtwo still has energy. We go for the break in swipe, letting that go. It does lower our attack, but our play rough will still do some naughty damage, you know? All right, we throw there. And look at that, it looked like Rayquaza was still there, but no, he caught that. Onto Excadrill. No problem. We still got two shields in play. They have none. Offloading close combat here. It will take out the Excadrill. Even debuff. The Excadrill is way too glassy. Alright. Let's see what the vibe is here. Still got two shields, making use of one here. It's ancient power. Offloading, we're trying to wait on that clock. The clock comes up, we swap and catch the move on our Mewtwo. Breaking swipe, and now Station can come back. Stacked on energy, stacked. 
offloading that player off. It will one shot, but they, they shield there. Gonna build up and then get off the next player off. They have no shields left. We still have a shield. This is probably just breaker swipe, but we definitely don't care what they're throwing. We're just gonna shield it up, be safe, and wrap the game up like a Christmas present. And that will be a G to the G. And that was the last battle. So thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.